Duncan, why did you want to become a TIP volunteer? I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to make a contribution to the community in which I live. Um, I've had a good life. It's payback time. What does it mean to you to be a TIP volunteer? Has it changed you in some way? Um, probably it's, it's, it's mellowed me a little bit. I'm not sure whether that's old age or... <laughs> Mix of just what, Yeah, that's right. But uh, no, um, I'm a type A personality and type A's are fixers. And I've come to learn that I can't fix a tragedy, tragedy but I can help people um, negotiate their lives thereafter. And that's what you're, you're dealing with, is, is tragedy on so many different levels and really someone's worst day. Can you kind of take us through some of the different kind of calls that, that you have to respond to or that you've been to? Um, we've been called to schools and walk the halls and talk to, to the kids and, and, and talk to the teachers, all in an effort to try to make sure that they're stabilizing after the tragedy. Well, here's an analogy. I, I like to think that we're kind of like um, navigators or pilots on a lifeboat, and we're transporting people to shore. What we're doing is we're bringing them from um, emotional shock into, into the new reality. Sometimes, after a call, you wonder whether you made a difference. And then about two months later, you get a note that says, thank you. It's an amazing feeling. It just fills your day, you know?